Hello, and thank you for your interest in the 2D camera ratings asset. In this video, I'll give you a rundown on how to set up the asset in your own project and how to easily define regions for a camera to move around in. Let's jump right into it. We'll start off with creating a new empty game object, and we'll call it the region handler. Make sure to reset the transform so that the position and rotation are all zero. This is important so that the boundaries of the regions don't get an offset once we define them. Next, we'll give it a new component, called the region handler, and we'll leave the object B for now. Next, we'll select the main camera you want to use in your scene, and add a region camera component. You notice that the first field takes the type of region handler, the same as the object we just created. Go ahead and drag that into the field. The lurk target position is a boolean that when set to true, tells the camera it should move towards the target object in a smooth blurping motion. Don't forget to also adjust the smoothing time to your likings. The object to volume follow variable takes the type of game object. This is an object that the camera will follow from the moment you start your project. You could leave this empty, but you will have to assign a target object or position to a script later. For this example, I'll throw the player object into that field. Now you're all set to start adding regions to your scene. Go ahead and select the region handler object, and you'll notice two buttons. The add region button and the grayed out validate region button. When you press the add region button, a new region gets added to the scene view. To define a region, you can drag the handles around. They also snap to the grid by holding the control button. Alternatively, you can change the position of the region through the vector fields in the inspector. It's also possible to change the color of the outlines of a region and the filling color for a region. We'll go ahead and add another region to our scene. You notice that the previous region no longer has its color field. Only a region that is currently selected also has a field color. When you want to select another region, you can press the handles that belong to that region. When you have a region selected, a new button appears. You can press this to remove the currently selected region. When you create a region, it is important to notice that the region has to be configured in this position. When you drag it around, you see that the region turns red. This means it is an invalid region and the camera cannot properly move around within the boundaries. Should it just so happen that you have created a couple of invalid regions, You can press the validate region button in the inspector and it'll change all the regions in your scene view to a valid region. We'll go ahead and finish up this little level by creating two more regions. And we can hit the play button. And it's as easy as that. You'll see that the camera now moves between the regions we just created. For a more detailed explanation and what other functions you have with this asset, you can read the document that came with the asset. In there I'll describe some of the functions that enable zooming in and out, or how to change to a different region set. For instance, when changing to a new level or another floor of a building. Thank you for watching and good luck with your project.